Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. And if, you, if you're if you new, uh, <laughs> make sure that you like and subscribe if this video resonates with you. Um, what we're going to be doing today is a pick a card reading. And normally I'm so used to just like channeling, you know, pulling cards right in front of you. I don't even do it the old school way anymore. But today I am doing it the old school way because it kind of organizes things a little bit better and gives me an opportunity to do um, more sets, okay? So there are four sets here. And this is going to be tailored to um, who is in your future, all right? Is it old love? Is it new love? What is coming up? And take this for like, I guess, um, have a number in mind. If you are within the year, within the next couple of months, within a week, you know, have that in mind. And then also I need you to pick the person that you are concentrating on, okay? Get that person in your mind. Um, focus on their energy. Call their name if you have to. Close your eyes. And you want to pick the one that you are most drawn to. And I hope that you can see that. And if you can't, you can focus on the shape. Because I don't know why the lighting is kind of bad reflecting. But I'm going to still put them up to you. And you pick the stone that most calls to you. And that's going to be your message. Okay, so if you need more time, please pause the video, but we're going to get right into it. So I'm just going to push these up and we're going to start with stone one. So let's see who is in your future. Who's going to be here? Is there going to be somebody? And guys, I'm sorry I didn't mention that at the beginning. But if you guys want to book a reading, please go to dawnanddreams.com. That's Dawn and Dreams with the Z at the end. And I will have the link in the description box. So let's see here. So personally, it's like a rocky relationship. It's like you guys go back and forth constantly. But that doesn't mean that this isn't where you want to be because it's obvious that this is where you want to be. You may tell yourself a number of times that that is not where you want to be, but it actually is. Um, I feel like you guys have communication issues at certain points um, in your relationship. You may not communicate exactly how you feel and that gets you in a place of, I don't know if I should move on or if I should stay, which it really feels like you want to stay, okay? I just feel like at the same time, you need to... Um, go into a new place, go into a new place into your relationship to where you actually will be on level ground. Now, this is actually, I see two things. I see some of you actually will be moving past this or trying to move past the situation. Okay. It's still not official. I think that you're still going to be with this person at this time, but I feel like some of you are trying to not look back on the situation because it's like a back and forth thing and it's constantly like rock and roll and you don't know where this is going, but it can come off to be a bit childish and a bit petty in a lot of ways. But at the end of the day, I think that if you guys just come to a certain agreement, you can make this work. Okay. And that's just my opinion, because even when I say childish, you have inner child here. So it's a lot of playfulness in the relationship, but that also can cause a lot of arguments. You just have to keep that in mind, okay? Especially if you're an air sign, it's just a lot of um, bumping heads, okay? But when you bump heads, that means you're too much alike in a lot of ways, all right? And you also have sexual arts. You have discover your life person purpose. Uh. So this person is probably going to push you to... Um, actually get things done. And I see that right here too. I see that, that this person, you may work with this person or they may try to push you into the best direction when it comes to your career. Okay. Now that's not for everybody, but that is for some of you people. So if you feel like, you know, okay, this person is actually getting me to do what I've been needing to do for the longest. That's why this person was meant to be in your life for a reason, even if it's just for a season. Okay. They were meant to be here to actually push you to start getting um, stuff done in your life. 
discovering your life purpose, pushing you to your passion, and they will argue you down until you do it, okay? They're like that type of person. Okay, what are you doing today? Why haven't you did such and such? And it's just constant nagging, but at the same time, it's like, I want the best for you. So this is a person that I can see you always being friends with, even if you're not in a relationship with them. But yeah, I do. I still see them in your future. A lot of sexual energy here, a lot of passion. All right, so let's go on to the next one. For those of you who pick courts, let's see who is in your future. So um, what I'm going to say with this one is take what resonates with you. Hop on the ride when you feel necessary because there are a few messages here. You have some of you who are actually trying to deny that you love this person and that you will always have this person's back, but essentially you will, you know, that's just what it comes with. Um, some of you may even have like, they may be family or you may feel like they're like close ended. All right. To the point that no matter how far they go, you will always support them. And that's just, it's never ending support with this person. But a lot of you are just getting to a point where you are trying to back away from the situation. Um, it just seems like you guys need more of a balanced relationship where it is like, okay, you invested in it, I invest in it because for a, some reason it feels like someone is more so focused on work and the other one is trying to really really support them or just trying to be in their life but they're not getting the attention that they need especially with self-love here and with this it's like okay what you put in is what you get out so it's definitely at a point where uh, it needs to be a little bit more investment into the relationship, but there's definitely love here. Definitely love here, but there is also a door to leave. It, it's both ways. It's, it's kind of what you want to do in this situation too, because I feel like this is you, but it's like somebody's in their head about it. Like, okay, I can do bad all by myself. I can do everything I need to do with me. And it's like an awakening coming into an awakening moment. And you have how teachable are you? And to me, that represents how willing are you to invest in this? How willing are you to invest in a relationship? How willing are you to give up everything else that's going on outside of me and give me the time that I need? Because it's definitely possible. You know, there's nothing extremely negative here. It's just I'm not getting the attention that I need. And that can always drive a person to do other things outside of you. That can drive a person just to be on their own or feel like they're alone. So there's also an opportunity here for change. But it looks like this person is willing to sacrifice for what they love and what they care about. So honestly, you could give this person an opportunity to change. But it's just an opportunity. It doesn't guarantee it, but it's definitely an opportunity. But this person definitely is in your future. Um, I don't know if you want to let this person go or not. It's kind of up to you, but you are to focus on yourself and just the things that you invest into the relationship and how much they're investing into the relationship too. I think that some of you are trying to walk away from it or trying to ignore the fact. But yeah, you do care for this person. So I don't see them leaving like that, okay? It's just something that you guys just kind of need to deal with as far as a relationship goes, how much you both are investing into it. Okay, so that's going to be the second one. So let's see, you picked Amethyst. Is this person... In your future, who's in your future, should I say?
So a lot of you who picked this one, um, a lot of you feel single. Needing to open up. Needing to realize that you have a bright future ahead of you. And that somebody is trying to come in. For some reason, you feel limited to choices when it comes to a relationship. But you have to realize that anybody that you want, you can bring in. There's no limitation to choices. There's nothing that's holding you back but you. And a lot of you are letting the weight of the world keep you from finding true love. So this person in the future is kind of barely there because it's kind of like it's up to you whether you allow this person to come into your life. And if there is somebody that's been actually trying to come to you, because I see this as also somebody, for some of you, somebody is already kind of just knocking at the door waiting to give you a good time. And it may not be something that's like permanent, but not every situation has to be permanent. Some situations are just there to get your feet wet, to kind of show you exactly what it is that you want in your life for some of you you know i really feel like it's a lot of values that go into certain things but some of you i, I have to say that some of you are not you know letting that burning passion out okay Sometimes you need to be a little wild. Sometimes you need to be a little daring. And I think that that's kind of what holds you back. Sometimes you just need to be free to do whatever you want, how you want it, whatever, okay? Don't let things and, and you know, certain rules keep you from having fun and keep you in that energy. Sometimes you just need to go out and just express yourself and be around other people. And that doesn't mean you're not going to find the one that you need in your life. It just means that sometimes you just need to have some fun in your life. Because some of you have been rejected and it, and it doesn't feel too good, but that's okay. Don't fear rejection. It comes and it goes. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you feel very, very comfortable and you are able to settle down. Um, so I guess there's two messages here. It's like there are some of you that will actually have somebody that is trying to come in. And it may not be a full-ledged commitment just yet, but it is for you to try. It is for you to open up and let that happen. It is for you to kind of let down your guard a little bit. And then there are some of you who are single and still kind of harboring on the past energy and just kind of just seclude it to yourself and you're wondering am i gonna find somebody but you're not gonna find somebody until you communicate that that's what you want to do until you get yourself back out there and have a little bit of fun okay so that's i pick up for the third one so last but not least who is in your future? You definitely have a lover. Definitely. Rather far off or soon, there's definitely somebody there for you. Oh, didn't even pull the rest of the cards. <laughs> All work and no play. <laughs> So some of you need some deep healing of the past. Definitely need to get balance back into your life. 
And the weird thing is, this is a lot to deal with just like your financial stability, your career and everything else. Like, I don't feel like you want to allow anything to get in the way of you being prosperous. And I don't feel like a relationship is going to get in the way. You just have to have more balance in your life. Because for some of you, this is actually a new person coming in for you. And they're going to want a lot of attention. And, you know, it's kind of like you're going to have to sacrifice and put in the time and the work. And for some of you who already are in existing relationships, this is just you putting that energy back into that relationship, okay? So maybe take a break from work. Take a break from all your responsibilities and actually pay this person a little bit of attention. Because it's just showing me that you need to get both worlds balanced. You need to see eye to eye. You need to give a two for a two for leg for a leg when it comes to your relationship. A lot of thinking about the future. A lot of feeling like, okay, where am I going? Why have, don't I have this? And for those of you who are single, you may even feel like that. Why is everybody else happy and not me? It is coming for you, okay? It's just time for you to get more balance in your life. It's definitely going to be here in the future. So continue to work hard, but when it did, does come to that point to where you feel drained, let this person take you on vacation. Just relax. So it's like two different messages here. It's like one message to where some of you are already in relationships and you'd actually need to take a break from the relationship. And then there's some of you who need to heal the past. Heal your past relationships and don't put that into somebody new. And for this one, let me see something. Yeah, it's saying invest. You need to invest. But once you make that investment, you definitely will be happy. So whether you're in an existing relationship or this is somebody new, um, this is definitely somebody that you can settle down with because I kept hearing marriage and I was like, okay, let me clarify that to make sure that's what I'm hearing. But yeah, you definitely will be happy with this person, but it's going to take a lot of investment. It's going to take a lot of your time. It's going to take you, like I said, eye for eye, a two for a two, but everything that you put into this relationship, you're going to get back. You're going to be successful. And that's not only in a relationship that is in money as well. So do not let, you know, work and everything else distract you from finding love and also don't let love be a distraction just kind of keep it balanced okay but this person is definitely somebody that likes attention so don't forget about them in the midst of you getting caught up in all of this because this could be something really really good for you all right so that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching make sure that you like the video if it helped you and if you want to book a reading with me again you can go to donandreams.com and book your reading, okay? Um, my lowest reading right now is just $20 for a love reading. I also do life path. I do ancestral readings. Um, anything I don't, I'll do dream interpretation too. I add that in there. Anything I don't do, you could just ask me about and I will tell you if I can do it for you or not. All right? Everybody have a great day. And